I'm responsible for what's inside here. Our first uh, person uh, will be the mayor, whose leadership was critical, um, as was the case with the second person, who was, um, say a few words, Kevin Huckenbecker, um, historic preservation officer. So, as they say, without further ado, Mayor Huskana, would you like to begin? Thank you all for coming today. Uh, this is a beautiful day. Back in oh, early August, uh, Kevin Kuchenbecker, our uh, historic preservation officer, was in his office one Friday afternoon. I happened to be in there and I went in to see Kevin and he showed me this uh, brochure. It was a very fancy uh, auction house sale. Uh, I think it was actually two volumes. It looked kind of like an old gun catalog for those of you who used to get those sort of things years ago. And it had just volumes of, of firearms that were going to be auctioned off in late August out in LA. And Kevin showed me a display in there of Wild Bill Hickok memorabilia, including two revolvers, uh, numerous pictures, uh, other artifacts, letters. And uh, Kevin and I just kind of looked at each other and thought, geez, you know, this is something that we should look at buying. I don't know how we're going to do it. I don't know if we can partner with somebody. I don't know where we're going to find the resources. Over a period of about three weeks, the city commissioner, we got Commissioner Myla Griffith here with us. Um, commissioner head of HPC, Rose Spears, is here today. Between HPC, between the city commission, some other people in the community, we decided that we needed to make an effort to purchase this. So on a very short notice, uh, we informed Kevin that he would be making a trip to LA. Uh, Kevin's classmate from Phillip High School happened to be the person that let him know about it. He's involved in auctions. Uh, Kevin's got some experience, I guess, with, with auctions, but nothing to this magnitude. We had no idea what the price was going to be. So we picked a number that we thought we could live with. We sent Kevin out there with a letter from our historic preservation officer saying that we would go up to this many dollars. Um, and then Commissioner, Historic Preservation Commissioner, Mr. Steinle, Willie Steinle, and I sat in the, uh, the uh, century room at City Hall and listened to the auction. Uh, Kevin's classmate's wife actually did us the courtesy of calling up and, and letting us listen to the auction as it went, was going on. And uh, it reached $200,000 rather quickly and it died there. And so Willie and I looked at each other because we knew that we'd given Kevin permission to spend more money than that. So Willie said, unless Kevin got up and went to the bathroom, we should be in pretty good shape. <laughs> but it seemed like it took forever for the auctioneer to, uh, to bang the gavel down, but it finally did. And this is what we've got. In a few moments, you'll get to see the display. So uh, we're going to defer to Kevin today and let him be the one that actually cuts the display since he's the one that had to go out there and, and suffer through the, uh, the auction and, and carry the water for us. And they did a great job. But again, thank you for coming. Well, thank you, Mayor, and, and I want to say thank the citizens of Deadwood and, and the Historic Preservation Commission and the City Commission for allowing me to uh, travel to Anaheim and uh, be at the auction where this collection was uh, up for sale. Um, what you're going to see here today is just a part of the auction. It is a large, a lot of items. Uh, we have photographs, uh, letters uh, related to the Hickok family. Uh, from not only James Butler Hickok, but his brother Lorenzo, his sister Celinda, his mother Polly, and his partner uh, Charlie Utter. Um, so those will come, be coming on display over the course of the next year, um, commemorating some of the dates that uh, uh, happened during uh, Hickok's uh, life. Um, but today we're going to be unveiling some of the three-dimensional artifacts, which are the, the, the guns and the uh, holster. I, I do want to uh, thank Rick Olson and his wife Margie uh, from Main Street Antiques. They're the ones that sent me the catalog and allowed me the opportunity to show this to Deadwood. Uh, and once again, thank the, the city of Deadwood and the Preservation Commission for giving me the opportunity to, in many ways, bring these back to Deadwood, bring them back home. So thank you, and, and we're very excited about it. Excuse me. Drum roll. Drum roll. <laughs> Director of the Adams Museum and House. 
and um, we're really grateful to the city of Deadwood and Deadwood Historic Preservation for purchasing this wonderful collection and for giving us the opportunity to put it on display. Um, I want to thank Daryl Nelson and uh, Ann Rogers, who worked very hard to help um, city archivist Mike Runge with cataloging, also Carolyn Weber, who I think is back there, um, to get this on display as quickly as possible so everyone could enjoy it. Um, so we'd like to invite you to come and take a look. Also, at 2 o'clock, we will be hosting a lecture by Jim McClare, who um, has written the definitive um, biography on Calamity Jane. And uh, having said that, please enjoy.